Visitors are sometimes surprised when they see this famous forest. We're used to forest being vertical, for one thing. This one is mostly lying down. And some of the logs look like they've been cut. To figure out what's going on here, you have to first picture the world of what is now Petrified Forest 220 million years ago. Some of the trees then looked more like giant feathers. There were also some conifers, cone-bearing trees similar to our spruce, pines, and cedars. But they looked a bit different. Then, as now, trees were part of the natural cycle. Most of them, when they died, rotted where they fell and return nutrients to the soil. There was also another important source of soil nutrients. Active volcanoes surrounded the area and inundated the place with lava and volcanic ash. Volcanic ash is often rich in silica. Nature was setting the stage for a million to one combination of ingredients. Some trees, instead of falling on the ground, fell into rivers. Down the river they drifted, and a few became stuck on beaches or sandbars. Floods started to cover the tree with sediments, and smaller branches became waterlogged and broke off. This process repeated several times, until the tree was whittled down to its trunk. Eventually, mud, sand, and volcanic ash covered the tree completely. More sediments piled into layers, hundreds of feet thick that over thousands to millions of years compressed into rock. But inside the rock, a few trees were not crushed and destroyed. They turned into stone themselves, thanks to those volcanoes. The silica from the ash, under just the right conditions of temperature and alkalinity, dissolves in water. water flowed through the ground and into the cell walls and hollow spaces of the buried wood. Then the silica crystallized into quartz, replacing the wood cell by cell. The process is not completely understood, but it is thought that logs might have been highly acidic, forcing the silica to crystallize. In the end, tiny crystals less than one two hundredths of a millimeter were formed. Slowly, the rock-hard crystals formed exact replicas of the logs they replaced. Pure silica, though, is almost colorless. Traces of other minerals like iron and manganese oxide gave us the colors we see today in the petrified wood. That process, multiplied by several thousand, produced a petrified forest. For millions of years, it was locked up in the middle of hundreds of layers of sedimentary rock as rivers and oceans came and went. As the rock layers bent and moved, some of the stone trees cracked and broke leaving those sharp edges that look like they are cut with a saw. Finally, these rock layers eroded away and brought the long buried trees to light. A million to one long shot that is the centerpiece of Petrified Forest National Park.